Take and floor it. And that's how you do a boosted launch. All right, guys, today we're gonna go over how to do a boosted launch. We get asked this question a lot. This is often used at the track when you're racing, closed course for safety purposes only, of course. So we're gonna go over what not to do and what to do. First of all, you wanna put the truck in four wheel drive and you want it in four high, not four low. Uh, hopefully your hubs activate naturally through vacuum or however, but if they don't, go out there, make sure to lock your hubs first. Ah. Race. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it into drive. And to do the boosted launch, what you're doing is you're building up the RPMs, the boost, and the EGTs up to that sweet spot where you want to launch. If you launch too low, the truck will bog down smoke and it won't leave nice. If you launch with the RPMs too high, you'll likely spin or bounce. So you'll, so you'll have to feel it out for each one of your individual trucks. So I'm going to show you what not to do. What a lot of people do is they just get in and mash the pedal. And when you do that, it just smokes a lot and takes forever to come up. Uh, with smaller turbos, you won't notice it so much, but with a bigger turbo, it's gonna take a lot longer to light and it'll be a lot harder to get it to light. What you wanna do is slowly roll into it, bring your RPMs up, bring your boost up, and bring your EGTs up while you're just barely smoking out the tailpipe. You don't want a big, thick, black smoke. And when you get up to the optimum boost, and uh, RPM level, then you let off the brake and floor it. And that's how you do a boosted launch.